<laughs> Out of 350 million people in our population, mm -hmm. <laughs> we have an imbecile <laughs> that is absolutely can't speak, can't climb up the stairs, <clears throat> well, and he's leading our country. Dude, it's wow. symptomatic, though, of a bigger issue. It's, you know, everyone wants to say that the president in charge is the problem. And <clears throat> I mean, there's a lot of things we could say. They're true. You know, he's not all there and it's you know we have a lot of problems the inflation the border all those things are real problems and they're a big part of the housing problem you know being in mortgage i will tell you that i was telling someone yesterday the reason why real estate can't crash mm -hmm. is because it's very similar to bitcoin right now mm -hmm. we have an ever decreasing population of yep. inventory because builders can't build with the cost of construction regulation right. i mean there's a little bit of building but nothing near what we need and we have an ever increasing demand supply and demand all the time and so there's no narrative there's no situation where that will change i mean they may slow down the southern border i hope they do because it's not good for them and it's not good for anyone here but the building house we're so far behind housing but the, the reality is is like that isn't something we can pin on a president right mm, no. it, it, it's it's so much bigger than that. And I was watching a, a clip from Mark Driscoll a few weeks back, and he was talking about how, you know, so many people that are specifically in the church, how we're all thinking about the next four years are going to be better because it's my guy. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, and we're, we're always like thinking that we're thinking about the four year increments of a president and there's a reality to policy and all that. But the truth is, is that there's powers behind yeah, of course. the leaders of, of the nations that rule the earth that I think is the bigger problem. And, and so I just, you know, I don't really get into too much of a debate about presidents. I vote because I think I'm supposed to. Yeah. Yeah. Other than that, I mean, I don't know how much control I have over anything other than my family, myself, and my, you know, the places that God's given me to steward. Yeah, and it says God appoints leaders, you know? So, I mean, if God appointed, you know, Joseph Biden, then he's obviously knows what he's doing. So there was a time and we were in Wyoming and we were all riding horses <laughs> through the Grand Tetons. Uh -huh. And you could tell looking at a few of us, it, we weren't usually the horse riding type. And we're up there with a bunch of cowboys and, <laughs> you know, Fab's up there with us and he's, you know, got his accent and he's a producer <laughs> and a movie guy. I know exactly where you're going. <laughs> and, and, and we put him in, we put him in a Kuyu outfit, which is camouflage for people that don't know what Kuyu yeah. is. So he could assimilate. And so he has Kuyu pants, a Kuyu shirt, and it looked, hat. It looked like a pajama. It, 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 did, looked yeah. like, it looked like a Kuyu onesie. <laughs> yeah, it did. And, and we get to the top of this mountain with these horses, and there's all these cowboys from Idaho that are kind of guiding us through. And, and Fab gets to the top and spreads his arms like an eagle and says, can we all just take a minute and just celebrate how great our president is? <laughs> Mind you, these people don't know Fab at all. And so they're uh, thinking he's 100% serious. The looks on their faces, faces, they did not know what to say. Oh my God. <laughs> that was one of my best moments with Fab. Oh my Lord. Jeez Louise. You've got to, you know, you've got to throw a bit of a controversial statement in from time to time, haven't you? Especially yeah, with well, all these it's, conservatives. I mean, it's, it's sad. I always tell people like, mm. if Joe Biden was my grandpa, <clears throat> I would be so mad at the people that put him in in that seat is because I would want him to enjoy his latter part of his life, like drinking lemonade on a porch, not being, he's a puppet, you know, and that, that's yeah, the truth. Yeah. I mean, my son, he, he, uh, my oldest, they, I guess at school, they're talking about, you know, president Biden a lot, like the, the kids yeah. and they're not saying very nice things. And I said, I said, Hey, you know, it's actually not really kind what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And he's like, what do you mean? And I was like, I, I don't know. I don't know why he's president. Like, looks like people voted him in, but he's obviously ill. Like he's got, a, he's, yeah. he's got dementia. There's something going on. And, and I was like, I was like, in no other context do I think you would ever think it okay talking to my 10 year old to make fun of somebody who's sick. Good for you. And, and, and that's the reality. Do I think he should be in office? I think, I think the guy shouldn't. Like, I think that's the reality. Like, yeah. like he's, he struggles. Mm -hmm. To, to do some simple things. And, yeah. and I think it's sad. Yeah. And I think, you know, we have, our, our, I think our system of government takes this into account and, and for whatever reason, it's not being taken into account. Mm -hmm. um, Is that a very passive way of trying to shame me? No, I'm talking about my oh. son, not you. Yeah. The shoe indirectly, fits. indirectly. If the shoe fits, wear it. Indirectly to <laughs> but that's the reality, yeah, right? Like, it is. Like, if it's, if there isn't a context where I, it would be okay to talk about somebody who's who's just not well, right? No. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't dig <clears throat> hearing people talk bad about anyone. 
any president or any person. I mean, if there's always the truth about things and that's fine, but you know, the way that people slam leaders and different people, that's not good for any of us, man. It's like, it's a, it's a lot harder Especially as a leader. Totally, man. And you know, the reason kids are saying things about Biden at school is because they're hearing it at home. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? And it's like, we just have to think about, I have to think about it all the time because you guys know me. I mean, I, I, I say things all the time and I go home and think about, oh, I probably shouldn't have said that. Mm -hmm. Cause I don't think about myself all the time as being a leader. Like people, leadership isn't something where someone like decides to be a leader one day. Yeah. It's just something that you kind of grow in that. And sometimes I think for leaders, we have, I read this uh, devotional from John mm -hmm. Maxwell every day for, for leaders. And it's so good because it, it makes you remember that people are listening to what you say. Like I'll talk about money or investments or what I'm doing with the stock market sometimes, or I'll post something. And I've realized like, I got to be careful with what I say because yeah. people do what yeah. I say. <clears throat> yeah. And, and sometimes I'm just processing a thought out loud. Yeah. You just have to be careful doing that because you don't know how that that's going to impact people around you. Yeah.